Good day students, welcome to mathcutserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over how to round numbers to a specified place value. All right, before we get started at taking a look at some examples, let's uh, go over the strategy for rounding. First of all, you want to identify the digit at the place value that you're rounding to. You have to know if you're rounding to the ones place, tens place, tenths place, hundreds, hundredths, or on and on, okay? You can give yourself a visual as we will do in the examples today by circling the digit at the place value you're rounding to. Next thing you do is take a look at the digit to the right, to the right of the um, place value digit that you're rounding to. You can underline it just to give yourself a visual as we will be doing in today's example, okay? Now if that digit, the digit to the right, if it's five or more, um, you carry one over. If the digit is less than five, four, three, two, one, you carry zero over, okay? So, or even zero. After doing that, after carrying one or zero over, depending on the size of the number to the right of the place value digit, you're then gonna set all the digits to the right of the place value digit to zero, okay? So that's, this is a strategy we're going to be using to uh, round numbers to a specified place value. All right, let's take a look at some examples. So the instructions for the exercises we're going to be doing are to round the given numbers to the specified uh, places, okay? Now we have our strategy that we went over on the right here for your reference. Um, so number one, what if we have the number 425 and you're asked to round to the nearest 10. Okay? All right, so step number one, right, we write the number 425. We want to identify the digit at the place value that we're rounding to. This is a ones place, this is a tens place, so let's uh, circle it. So this is where we're rounding to. All right? Now, what we'll do is we're going to take a look at the number to the right okay, of the um, number where the place value digit, okay? So the number to the right, let's underline it, is five. Now this is the rule. If that number, let's put down our digits, nine, eight, seven, six, five, <clears throat> four, three, two, one, zero. If the number is five or greater, what you do is you carry one, okay? Carry one. If it's um, less than five, either four, three, two, one, if it's less than five, what do you do? You carry zero, okay? Now, the number to the right of four, the number to the right of the place value digit is five. So we have this situation here, five. So what do we do? we carry one, okay? So from this um, position, we're gonna carry one to this digit right here, okay? Now, let's go ahead and rewrite it. Uh, we're gonna have four. Now, if you carry one to two, two plus one is what? Three. Now, what happens to all the digits to the right of the place value digit? Step number four tells us you set all of them to zero. So in this case, we have just one number, so we set that to what? Zero. So our answer is 430. So 425 to the nearest 10 is 430. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at another example. What if we were to round 14,732 to the nearest 100? Okay. To the nearest 100. We're going to follow the same steps. Uh, first thing we want to do is we want to identify the digit at the place value that we're rounding to. Okay, so let's rewrite the number one, four, seven, three, two. Now, hundreds place, this is a hundred, this is ones, tens, hundreds. So you identify with your circle. Now, you take a look at the number to the right of the place value digit. In this case, it's three. Now you take a look at this um, list of numbers right here. If you're four, three, two, one, zero, any number below five, you carry zero. 
If you're five, six, seven, eight, nine, five or above, you carry one. Now take a look at three. Is it five and above or less than five? It is less than five, so we're going to carry zero, okay? So we're gonna carry zero means that we're gonna add zero. So the numbers to the left, we have one, four. What is seven plus zero? Seven plus zero is seven. Now all the numbers to the right of that place value digits, what do we do with them? We set all of them to zero. So we will have one, four, seven. These numbers become zero, zero. 14,332 rounded to the nearest hundred is 14,700. That is your final answer. All right, let's take a look at problem number three. Now for problem three, what if we have 143,572.15 to the, you asked to round to the nearest thousand okay run it to the nearest thousand first thing we're going to do in step one is identify the digit at the place value we're rounding to ones tens hundreds thousands circle that now we take a look at the number to the right of the place value digit of three the number to the right is five now the question is is this number five or greater or is it less than five Remember, if it's five or greater, you carry one over. If less than five, you carry zero. It's five, which is five or greater, so that means we're going to carry one plus one. Okay, so this becomes numbers to the left. We have one, four, three, carry one. Three plus one is four. Now, what happens to every single digit to the right of the place value digit? We set them all to zero. Okay, they are all set to zero because we have already carried out the rounding. Everything to the right of the place value digit is zero. So it's going to be one, four, four, zero, 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 and then point zero, zero. We don't have to put that down. So 143,572 rounded to the nearest thousand is 144,000. Okay. All right, let's take a look at question number four so for number four what if we um, have the number one three seven point five two six and in this um, problem you have to round to the nearest uh, tenth okay round to the nearest tenth okay so um, let's rewrite the number one three seven point five two six step number one is identify the digit at the place value you're rounding to so this is the one so this is the tenth place right here take a look at the number to the right in this case it's two now you look at the list we have here if it's if the number is less than five you carry zero if it's five six seven eight nine five or greater you carry one 2 is less than 5, so what do we carry? Since 2 is less than 5, we carry 0. Okay, so this number becomes 1, 3, 7. The numbers to the left of the place value digit remain unchanged. What is 5 plus 0? 5 plus 0, we carry 0. The number remains unchanged, 5. Now, what happens to every digit to the right of the place value? digit. We set them all to zero, zero, zero. So those two become zero, zero. So 137.526 rounded to the nearest tenth is 137.5. This is your final answer. Okay. All right, let's take a look at um, the last example. So um, for this problem, what if we were to round 1,799,241.01 to the nearest million? Okay, how do we do it? First thing to do is identify the digit that the place value we're rounding to. So 
we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousand, millions. So there you go, right here. Take a look at the number to the right of the desired place value digit, which is seven. If it is um, five or greater, you carry one. If it's less than five, you carry zero. So this number is five or greater, so we're going to do what? We're going to carry one over to the place value digit, okay? So if we carry over one, we're going to have two. What happens to all these digits to the right of the place value digit? We set them all to zero, okay? Set them all to zero. The zero is already a zero, so we just set that one in the hundredths place to zero. So we have two, zero, 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 comma, zero, 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 point zero, zero. Okay, we don't have to um, put the two zeros after the decimal point, so we can just write our answer as two zero 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 two million. So one million seven hundred ninety nine thousand two hundred forty one point zero one rounded to the nearest million is two million. So there goes our final answer. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. If you found this tutorial beneficial to you, please give us a thumbs up. We we'll appreciate your positive feedback. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to the remainder of this review series. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please include it in the comments section below, and we'll be glad to address it as soon as possible. More clips can be found on MacBusserve.com. Thanks again for watching, and have a wonderful day.